Well, good afternoon. Today is Friday, May 31st, and we have birthdays today. But first, I missed a birthday on May 28th for Judy Unicoria. Unicoria. U N I Q U E R A. Uni. Unicoro. Judy, I tried. I tried my best. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Judy. Happy birthday to you. Cha -cha -cha. Well, I hope on the 28th you had a great birthday. I'm sorry I didn't sing it on your birthday. But today, the 31st, we have a lot of birthdays. Today is Alice Hop, or is it Hoppy? H-O-P-P-E. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Alice. Happy birthday to you. Cha -cha -cha. It's also Caroline's birthday. So, Carolyn, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Carolyn. Happy birthday to you. Cha -cha -cha. Cynthia Square. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Cynthia. Happy birthday to you. Cha -cha -cha. Hannah, it's your birthday too. Hannah, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Hannah. Happy birthday to you. Cha -cha -cha. It is also Rachel Lehman, L-E-H-M-A-N-N. -N. Rachel, it's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Rachel. Happy birthday to you. Cha -cha -cha. Well, I hope all two, four, six of you have a great birthday. But you know what? I'm thinking I'm missing somebody. So let me check my calendar because I could have swore there was one more. But let me look. I'll be right back. And I was right. I almost forgot James. Today is James's 13th birthday. He's a teenager. He was born in 2011. James, I almost forgot you. I'm so sorry. But I didn't forget you because I remembered that I was missing somebody. And you were the one I was missing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear James. Happy birthday to you. Cha -cha -cha. Well, I hope you have a great birthday, too. 13 years old. My grandson couldn't wait to be in the double digits, and he just turned into a teenager this year, and so he is, like, thrilled to be a teenager, as I'm sure you are, too. Uh, I had a very busy day today. Uh, it started out very early because we, have, um, we had to get our sprinkler system for our lawn repaired. And he was here bright and early, like at 8.10. <laughs> ding dong, ding dong. And I'm like, oh, I'm so... Well, actually, I woke up at 7.30 because the people behind us have a dog that they let out usually about 5 o'clock in the morning, which never bothered me because I got up at 5 o'clock in the morning. But they put that dog out, and that dog barks. Roof, 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 like that uh, for at least 15 minutes every morning, every morning. They don't bring him in. I don't know why. It's like... If it's later in the day, I don't care, but it's like, I like to sleep with my windows open, so hearing the dog, it's like, okay, and like during the day, they leave the dog out during the day, too, a lot, you know, it's like, I mean, I know like animals like to be outside, but sometimes they want to be in the house, <laughs> so, so the dog woke me up about five, and then uh, Jeff came about eight o'clock to fix the sprinkler system, and then, um, so I just got up because Jim and I just got up then, and then we went to Sophia's award ceremony today. She had... Um, uh, got an achievement award for um, being in student council. So here's a quick little video of uh, Sophia accepting her award. Sophia Mitchell. Mackenzie Morrison. Olivia Mueller. Jorge Munoz Thera. It was a packed house. There were so many kids there. And they, they gave out awards for, um, like, student council. They gave out awards for that. They gave out for uh, team captains for the sports teams. They gave that out. Um, they gave out uh, for um, art. They gave out for art. Um, they gave out for... This was this was totally amazing, uh, because there were so many kids there. I just I would say there probably was. I would say probably 150 kids in this assembly getting awards, 
just for the eighth grade, just the eighth grade. It wasn't the whole school, just the eighth grade. And even the principal, you know, she, he said, you all need to congratulate yourself because in a class of 396 eighth graders, only you were here to accept awards. And there was probably, like, I don't know, I didn't do a count, but I think there was 150 of them. And so then they started naming off all the honor roll students. They got um, A's and B's. And they were on the honor roll. Of the 156 kids, there was only five that didn't have to stand up to get an award. They didn't, well, not have to, but they didn't stand up to get an award because they didn't make an A, B honor roll. But there was like 145 kids standing up getting honor roll achievement awards. And there were about 50 straight A students. And there were about 25 that got um, 4.0 or higher. I was like, oh my gosh. It was like, but you know, it was mostly girls. It was mostly girls. And Jim and I were making the comment, they're eighth grade. And there were at least three boys in the eighth grade that had full beards and a mustache and one had a goatee. I don't remember boys when I went and, when I was in junior high in eighth grade. Do you guys remember that? Having mustaches and beard. I mean, maybe a little bit of a whispering of a mustache, but no, this was a full on beard. And I know it's the style because David has it too. This like, like a bob on top of their head. Like this, their hair is like this short, but it stands out about that much because it's just like all hair. Uh, it's just, and all of the boys, just about all the boys had hair like that. And all the girls had like really curly hair too that they must've curled in there, you know, like to make it curly. Uh, Sophia has a natural curl. So, but uh, it was just amazing. And then there was one award that they give out for the state for a writing award. And no one in the whole history of Sophia's school has ever even been on, nominated to be on like the, the list to be uh, on this for a Writing Achievement Award. And the girl won it for the state, and she's a published author. Eighth grade, she's a published author already. That was quite an achievement for her. And then, you know, like they had the, um, they gave honors to the, um, to the people that do the morning, you know, like the news and the weather and all that, that they do that in the morning for their first hour. But it was really nice. It was like two hours long, two, three hours, about two hours long. And then the kids liked it because they got to leave early because uh, the other eighth graders that didn't get any awards had to stay to the whole time because the school, so those classes ended, but they got to leave early, about an hour early. So they were all happy about that. And then we went, Jim and I went over to see Mary. She's doing really well again. She, she gave me quite the scare last week. I really didn't think she was going to make it through the summer. She was that bad. And now she's almost back to her old self. She's walking pretty well on the walker. She's able to get in and out of the bed by herself into the wheelchair. So we went outside today. It's a little chilly, but she wanted to get out and get some sun because it is sunny, even though it's a little chilly. It's, it, it was sunny. So we went and we sat outside for, I don't know, about a half an hour or so. Um, she just really liked the change of scenery. But it was funny, we had to get it like a hall pass <laughs> to get her past the door. You have to have like this orange little ticket that you got to give to the door person, the receptionist, before they let you out the door with her. <laughs> it's like we we're trying to escape with her or something. So we did that for that. And then, um, well, when the guy fixed the, the things, Jim noticed afterwards there was a couple sprinkler heads that uh, he didn't mention to the guy this morning that he needed to fix. And so the guy had to come back. So he did come back and fix those. And then we went to Olive Garden for dinner. And then uh, I didn't get to go to Sebastian's um, award ceremony because uh, he had his award ceremony the day we were coming back from um, uh, the, our cruise. They had it early in May because he gets out of school earlier. So here's a little clip of, of um, Sebastian. He won... Uh, 3.7 grade point average, 4.0 is the best, 3.7. And he won, a, he won the, uh, not a scholarship, but a certificate for his science, language, arts, and social studies. So here's a little clip of Sebastian walking across the stage accepting his award. Sebas, Sebastian, Kaprizet with an excellence in science, language, arts, and social studies. I am just so darn proud of them. I'm just so darn proud. I really am. I just, uh, and they're they're really good people too. They really are really good people. They're just, I mean, I'm not just saying that because they're my grandchildren, but you know, they're really good people. They'll do anything for anybody. They're really fine upstanding citizens. And so I was really proud of them. So tomorrow the 
boy across the street, the young man, I should say, is graduating from high school, so we're going to his graduation party. And then uh, Sunday, I have my Zoom with my family, and that's about my only big plans for the weekend. So I guess that's going to do it for now. Um, Mary's doing better. She's telling me that Don is very apologetic and blah, 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 and all that. I know it's just Mary saying it, but I said, okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm not dealing with the man anymore, so uh, it doesn't... Uh, I know. I'll just, my, I have a friend that has, uh, you know, like, we just, uh, we agree to get along, you know, that's it. It's just, um, you know, this is be like, this is Mary's husband, so, you know, I'll treat him with respect, and, but um, I'm not going out of my way for him. <laughs> I know that's not nice, but then it's just, he's burnt the bridge. He just burnt the bridge. That's his fault. So that's going to do it. So like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Thank you.